Welcome back, and here's the latest update. So just quickly, uh, here's the winglets uh, again on the model. Still haven't been sanded yet, but the weather's been pretty uh, miserable here, too cold to go fly anyway. Those will get done soon. So that's basically the update on that, and we will be flying that well before we decide to do any milling for any plugs for the wings. Okay, so when we left off last time, uh, I was milling the inner door frame. So this is the one for the left-hand side, and just this is, so this is just doing the rough cut and I'd actually cleaned out all the empty foam in there so you can kind of see what's going on. But yeah, that's just the uh, the large 12-inch, um, three-quarter um, diameter end mill, just running the rough cut there. And this is switched over to the ball mill and just starting the finish cut um, the same way as I did the last one. So while that's running, I'll give you a bit of an update on the engine. I haven't been down to the shop yet, um, to see the progress, but uh, I've been talking to Doug there and he said they've received the turbo and they've sent the turbo off to have the exhaust side um, um, covered with a ceramic coating. They've pulled the old uh, wiring harness off and they're starting to figure out um, the new wiring harness for us. And hopefully I'll get to go down there this week when the turbo comes back, take some measurements uh, because we need that so we can decide exactly which configuration we're going to use for uh, the belt drive system. Anyway, so here we are back uh, with the door frame. And this is just doing some swarf cuts um, to finish off those edges in the openings for where the door latches sit. So just actually doing the swarf cut with the ball mill this time so it leaves a nice little radius in the uh, in the, the edge there between the side and the and the bottom walls of that cutout and surprise surprise our machine that we've been waiting for for several months now finally showed up and so it looks nice it's all stainless steel so this is our impregnator it has a rollers there and, and a big vat or big tub there so you can put resin in there and you can run uh, carbon fiber or even fiberglass through there and it, it uh, soaks the the fabric and then squeezes the excess resin out and you can adjust exactly how much comes out there and it see it has a uh, pneumatic motor in there so it runs off of air to turn those rollers and we'll have that coming together soon and so here's Jeff uh, out on this is on Thursday we've done a ton of sanding in the morning this is the afternoon and he's spraying the black uh, top coat and this is the nose obviously and so we had a bunch of parts that were ready or a bunch of plugs that were ready to be sprayed and I thought I'd take it sort of overview of the shop here so you can see everything there's all kinds of plugs piling up now so we're going to be moving through a lot of those soon and start to make some molds so here is the uh the roof skin there that's all sprayed in the top coat came out nicely and they're just doing that uh, rear pressure bulkhead one and there's the nose all finished looking pretty good and this is just a close-up there of the and the uh, roof thing you can see the parachute strap channels in there and it's just a bit of dust on there because this was the next morning actually so there's a bit of dust already floating around and that's the rear pressure bulkhead again so these will need uh, some wet sanding now to get them finished off and then a quick polish and then they'll be ready to pull a mold those are the roof uh, one roof brace and one floor brace and there's the other roof brace and the other floor brace they got primed and there you can really get a good look at the nose. Looks a little bit like a bullet train <laughs> in the front of it. But I'm uh, pretty happy with how that came out. So that'll be getting its uh, wet sanding and buff. And next up, so I think everybody should know what part this is. <laughs> it's pretty obvious. This is the rear uh, right window and the right door window. And so these are the ones that we're going to do next. So there's a the part and there it is with the flange, which is basically just an extension of part of the, the fuselage just sort of wrapped around so we get exactly the same curvature. And that's what we'd be milling. And people have asked me, uh, how do you, you know, reset your parts and stuff? So this is how we do it. I have a really very, very fine end there and we use a screw in the corner of the things and we use that as an index. And then the steel that you see next to it there, that big square two by four, that's a straight edge to make sure everything's always parallel. And lined up so anytime I have to put the a piece back to remill it that's how I basically do it re-index it there we get pretty close to within a couple of foul um, of, of where you know we were before 
So this is uh, the first door side there, the right hand side, um, out of the rough cut already, and there's running the finish cut on there. And so you see a bit of back and forth there. Those didn't take too long to run, but I started one off and then I came back a little bit later in, uh, in, in the evening and ran, ran the other side of it, I ran the, the finish cut. And then I had the other one on um, right after that. So this is one of them. All finished there, just sitting on the floor. That's ready to have glass put on it, fiberglass. And here's the other one out the back of the mill there. Again, we'll need uh, fiberglass. So the next thing up, and we're just flying through stuff now. This is the windshield because we wanted to get all the plugs ready so we can uh, make the molds or the tooling for the for for the acrylic glass. That's the windshield there, and there it is with uh, the flanges put on, which again is just the extension of the fuselage. And if you look here, we show you, uh, this is what the roughing pass looks like. All those blue lines are basically where the machine is gonna follow around to get rid of most of the foam. And then I uh, switch up here and I'll show you what it looks like. There's a the finish cut, and it's a bit difficult to see those, but those are just basically parallel lines running back and forth. And so that, it's a pretty simple one, this. Um, anyway, so here it is. There's the big block of foam there, 70, uh, I think it was 74 by 70 inches or something like that, and 24 inches high. And there's a pile of foam from the previous one that I have to clean up. And here it is just a little bit further on on the rough cut. So that's the update. And uh, until next time, thanks.